Hello, welcome to Chunky Chick Yarn. My name is Brittany and today I am doing a quick vlog about Rolags. Real quick, I'm using my phone to record this. The last video was made with my iPad and for some reason that thing just zooms the heck in really bad when I try to record with this. This does too, but not as bad. But anyways, um, I wanted to just talk real quick about Rolags as I pull this one apart by accident. I found this on Etsy and I thought it was so cool. I'm going to link down in the description the shop I got it from. They call it Midnight Sky, but when they took a picture of it, it looked like a galaxy. So I had to have it. I got two log shapes here. Um, and they both weigh about an ounce total. Um... And this is what one of them spun up looks like. Isn't that just pretty? Let's try to get that zoomed. Or not zoomed, focused. It's just so sparkly. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, so I looked it up and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I've never used this before. So a quick rundown of what this is. It's roving to spin yarn. And you either use a rectangular, I don't know, they call it cards. It has little spikies on it and you stretch the, um, the roving over it. And then you make whatever design you want to make. You take either two knitting needles or sticks or something and you roll them up and it creates these really cool logs. I'm very bad at describing things. So I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video of basically how it's done. Um, and because of the way I'm set up, I can't really show you how to spin from a Rolag. So I'm going to leave another video in the description of how it's done. Um, I was about ready to start using this and I'm like, wait a minute, I want to make a quick video. So that's, that's why that's there. Um, I like it because it's pre-drafted for you. You just have to literally pull, a lot of people will pull this apart to start, um, or some people just go straight from the row lag. And then, just like regular roving, I get that. Oop. Sorry. Just like roving, you just take the two ends and you stick them together, and then you just spin from there. It is really cool. And I like it because. Yes, I'm still making art yarn. See how it's... Oh, eh, it came apart. That's fun. Anyways, it's still... It's like thick and thin throughout. But it's not as bad as my other ones. So it looks a lot more neatly done. Um, I am able to... Whoop, get rid of that. I am able to spin yarn a lot faster than with... A regular just ball of roving um, and I'm like why have I never heard of this before I wonder if not a lot of people like using it I don't know but this is just a quick vlog um, it's rambly I'm sorry that's just the way I am I don't mean to be um, I hit I think I hit the important details the way it's made what it is um, and I just wanted to talk about this it's so sparkly Oh, I can't, I just, I can't get over it. And I like how, um, how easy it's made into, um, the yarn. I will be making a video, update video of the yarn after I have spun it and I've made it into a skein. I'm from the Northwest. I call it skein. I know other places call it skein or other people call it skein, depending on where you're from, I guess. But, um, yeah, so I will do an, um, an update video of the skein after I have done, um, after I am done spinning it and made it into the skein. So yeah, this is rambly like usual. I'm sorry, but it's just a quick little vlog. Oh yeah, something else I wanted to talk about. How easy it is for these little sparkly thingies to come off of it. Oh, I sat down and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And the next thing I know, my shirt's covered. <laughs> and not only the, the wool from here, but the sparklies from it, it just went whew, everywhere. And I'm like, no, ah. I don't know if there's a way to take care of that. I also don't know how to wash this because from what I could tell, the way to 
wash roving or wash the yarn after it's made is to wash it in like warm water, but like not wash. You just let it soak in the water with some um, soap and I use no rinse soap. But um, so I'm going to have to wash it in cool water. So I'm going to have to learn how to wash this stuff. I've never done that before. I don't know. I love learning about yarn and roving and things like this. So this is just going to be a fun adventure for me. So after all that rambling, thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end, um, take care. Bye.